Hey, so I just wanted to show you the mill. This is the mill I've been converting um, from manual to CNC. Um, when it was all said and done, I uh, spent about $350 on stuff to convert it. Uh, it's all secondhand stuff. Uh, I spent $250 on servos and controllers and drivers all off Kijiji and then about $50 on belts and pulleys. Um, that meant I had to make my own pulleys, but uh, just buy belts, and they're timing belts out of a car, because that's all I could find cheap that was easy to replace. So I'm going to do a cut, and uh, yeah, I'll explain more as I go. Uh, all I'm making is a strap clamp. I, I need some, and I don't have any, so I'm making it out of plate. So right now I'm taking a cut, about a hundred thousand feet, and uh, I want to put a half inch bolt to this clamp when it's done, and I've only got a half inch end mill, so it, it goes across and it goes back 40 thou, and then uh, takes a cut across the backside. It's only going to be six inch a minute this way, but about 12 on the way back, because uh, it's only got 40 thou radial load. And then I have to advance it down manually and run the same program again. I did buy a servo for the Z-axis, but I haven't connected it yet. Um, there's a couple of jobs where it's convenient to not have it connected. Maybe if you were drilling bolts in circles or something, uh, this would be great the way it is. Eventually I'm going to attach it to this um, quill uh, because I think using a servo to raise and lower the table that would be really difficult. You need a really big servo. These servos are only 8 nm, so about uh, 900 uh, inch pounds. Uh, the controller I'm using is Mach 3. I use it also on the lathe, which you've seen in a couple other videos. It's easy to use, it's really cheap. Uh, the licensed version is about 250 bucks. And it works really well for a hobbyist. Uh, it would be terrible in a commercial application. It lacks some G code, G70 and G71, missing. They'd be really important in a commercial setting, but for a hobbyist, uh, it's great. So uh, I'm going 100 thou at a time, and my material is uh, 500 thou deep, so it, it takes five passes to cut the full depth. That's about as fast as this mill would go without the servos on, so it's just as capable with the CNC conversion as it was before, but uh, now it doesn't work for me. So this is the last cut, it's just breaking through now. Um, overall, I'm super happy. I have a bit of backlash, like uh, I'm getting about 15 now when it changes directions. Mach 3 does have uh, a parameter that controls backlash, compensates for it, backlash compensation. I'm not using it right now, but I definitely will experiment with it. This is the first thing I've tried cutting, so... Uh, yeah, I'll experiment with this on stuff with more critical qualities.
And that's it. Strap clamp from a piece of half inch plate. Thanks for watching guys. Have a good day.